seems like the expectations are higher for you guys this year. Do you sense that, and how do you balance that with your players? Yeah, I mean, the predictions, that's nice. I mean, that just means you're going to have a chance to, to try to prove that, to be a, a quality team in this league. And um, I think there has to be a balance. I think you have to have expectations to finish well, to get to postseason play, advance, all those things. But in saying that, there better be a balance of we use the term falling in love with the process because that's how do you reach those expectations? How do you get as good as you can? And that's just improving in each moment and each day. And I think our players understand that. Just over two weeks remain until Virginia tips off against in-state foe James Madison. John Paul Jones Arena is empty except for the team and coaches assembled for a closed door inter-squad scrimmage. Competition against each other will have to suffice for now as the preseason process unfolds. Every practice is an opportunity to build a foundation for the long season ahead. Cavalier sophomores are expected to make big contributions on the wing. Justin Anderson and Evan Nolte logged significant minutes last season, but didn't rest on past experience. Each worked this offseason to hone their unique skills and physical conditioning. So I only took about two weeks off after the Iowa game, and I was right back in the gym for the entire summer. I lost uh, body fat and gained body muscle, and then I also strengthened my core, which was a huge deal for me in particular because my core wasn't as strong, which allows me to be more agile and be more quick with, the more, with more muscle, which allows me to jump higher. And Coach Curtis told me I increased my vertical three inches this summer, so that's a pretty big, pretty big jump. Well, here's a lot pass. Go on the my offseason plan consisted of a lot of shooting. I wanted to make sure my shot was better, so each team would have to respect my jump shot much more than they did last year. And then also driving to the basket, and I think I was shying away a little bit from contact last year, but this year I can drive both left and right and uh, finish over and through contact. I pretty much had about two main goals. One was to put on a lot of weight and add muscle and strength, which I think will definitely help me this year, because last year, you know, sometimes I thought I was getting banged around a little bit. My other goal was to improve my shot, and uh, when I say that, just like improving the arc, being able to get my feet set and get good arc on my shot, whether it be the end of a practice or end of a game or end of a season, just being able to sustain that throughout the game. Good four, man. It's gonna be flat, man. Don't hit the front of the rim anymore. Here we go. Let's go long or short. Let's find that rhythm. Find that rhythm. Here we go. The two wing players have very different skill sets and personalities ones that didn't immediately mesh, but their on and off the court relationship grew as last season progressed. Last year, the summer, we uh, we kind of we kind of didn't like each other very much because I'm pretty sarcastic and he he didn't really take that too well at the beginning of our friendship. And now we just we've learned that we're like we're best friends. You know, we're we're like brothers now. We tell a story to everyone all the time, but I mean we're really close now. You know, he's I mean, he's an awesome guy. He's the in the gym pickup type player. I'm the street court type player. You know, I'm the more athletic one. He's the more sound, screen and separate, knock down every open shot. But me and Evan play off of each other really well. As far as being vocal, uh, uh, I'm the vocal one and he's the more quiet one. He's like the silent assassin. And uh, it's a lot of Evan's game that I try to take away and pick up that I need to know. And it's a lot of my game that Evan tries to take up and put towards his game. Each player understands his role and remains focused on the small improvements required to attain loftier goals. I think the biggest thing maybe for me is just being disciplined and sustaining my ability to uh, be sure with the ball and you know avoid turnovers, things like that. But I think we can both definitely bring something to the table on the offensive side and defensive side. Uh, we have to make sure that we take care of today. And that's the challenge, I think, for every sport, every athlete. And that's just giving it all you got every single day, every single possession, every single practice. It's something that you have to adapt in order to be great and to be champions.